Hey guys, Dr. Crystal Lowry, Regional Director for BirthFit South Denver. If you haven't already watched the belly or diaphragmatic breathing video, please go back to that one. This builds on that. So once you've learned how to create intra-abdominal pressure through that belly breathing on your inhale, activating the diaphragm, it, an intra-abdominal pressure is created in order to meet the resistance of the force that you're meeting against, whether it be lifting weights, picking up a child, or breathing here on the ground. You should be able to breathe into 360 degrees into low back as well as on the belly. And then we call that upon full inspiration right here, that's about a 100% brace. If you held your breath there, you'd be really firm and strong. But most people, when they first learn to belly breathe, completely lose all the diaphragmatic activation or all the tension and intra-abdominal pressure when they breathe out. So once you're breathing in, we want you to maintain some of the activation of the diaphragm and some of the tension in your abdomen while you breathe out so that you can move through the functional progressions with what I call a 50% brace. The easiest way to find how you can maintain that pressure while breathing out is to either gently cough out your breath or to laugh. So, Ashley, I'm going to have you take a big belly breath in, 360 degrees of pressure, and then gently <sighs> cough out that breath. Beautiful. And you can see that her diaphragm is still engaged. This is a practice that takes time. Start by breathing in, <sighs> gently coughing out the breath or laughing, and then try talking to a friend, your child, a spouse, to practice having that 50% engagement so that you can start building that skill in order to do the functional progressions.